So today's Hot Topic is all about finance. But first, we're going to talk with Hollywood's next biggest star. She's an actress and singer. She's co-starred along with Chris Rock and I Think I Love My Wife, Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis in Freaky Friday. And she's been featured on Will Smith's Born to Rain album. Please welcome Christina Vidal. Good. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Hello. And also here to join us is one of my good friends. Every now and then I like to bring on one of my good friends to join in the conversation. Please welcome Chuck Wright. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Christina, I want to say it's a pleasure. I can't wait to see you perform a little bit later. Mm, thank you. And I just want to say thank you both for being here. Chuck, you are awesome. So Thank you for having me. Yeah, I want, thank you. I want you to tell us a little bit about, <laughs> Christina, I want you to tell us a little bit about your, your you know, resume. You have an extensive resume. Tell, tell the people extensive. out there what you've done. Um, oh, okay. Um, a short version, yes? <laughs> yes, <Okay>. yes. Um, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I started uh, when I was about 10 years old. I did a movie called Life with Mikey with Michael J. Fox. That's where I started. Um, kind of took a break for a while, and then I moved to California um, when I was about 16 and did um, a sitcom and just kept working from that point on. I had my own show on Nickelodeon called Taina for a few years. Um, then I went on to do Freaky Friday and um, See No Evil and lots of other stuff. I had a show on ABC called 10 a a cop show. I don't know if anyone remembers that, so. Wow, wow. Yeah. You're originally from New York, right? Yes, I am. Okay. I am. So how was the transition, you know, from east to west coast? Oh, I hated it at first. Really? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> LA. Um, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like um, the people. I didn't like the environment at right, all. Right. Um, but it's just slower? so different. Were they slower? Yes, everybody was yeah. very slow. Erica's from New York. Like, different New York. Okay, see? That's what I saw. It's bitter cold. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just rigid because it's so cold. No, yeah. we're not. Actually, we're not rigid. We're just, we're, we're very we're real. Like, we're very yeah. like, let's go get to the point and make it happen. And, and I just felt when I felt got, when I first got here, I was like, everyone's like, oh, within it. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, that certain Hollywood like, right, you know, stereotype, right. yeah. But, but... I'm gonna clean it up. Now. Okay. <laughs> You're in a lot of emails. I still love New York, but um, but LA is my home now. I yeah. mean, um, every time I go to New York now, I feel like everybody's doing the most. Exactly. And we need to relax. <laughs> you calm down. Bring it down a couple of notches. Right. With like under a palm tree somewhere. Like so, I'm always ready to come back to yeah. LA yeah. after being in New York. Chuck, do you think much. that? Because I know you're from San Diego. Right. Do you think that when you travel other places that you miss home more, or do you kind of? Gravitate to other places. I think I think more so that now that I'm like, since I moved away from my family, I lived in San Diego my whole life, and so um, you know up until like 20, 25, 26, and so like to um, to venture out away from my family and to like step out of that, um, I, I feel more um, more free. So when I go to different places, I, I really can't. Um, I, I don't miss home, to be honest with you. Like it's just, it's more of a sense of freedom and, and you know, embarking on a new journey. So wow. you don't want wow. your mommy? <laughs> I do love my mom. My mom is my favorite person in the whole wide world. But um, that's why I just bring her with me sometimes. You know? like, just pack her up. Just pack her up, put her in a suitcase, and bring her along. Okay, I would love to pick your brain. What do you think about like the way entertainment is today? Like you, oh, you guys are both oh, awesome oh, singers. So oh. what do you guys think oh, about? Okay. <laughs> It's feeling. It's feeling. It's feeling. It's feeling. You know, I want. I want to know what you think about entertainment and where you fit in. Like, where do you right. fit in? Yeah. Sometimes I. Sometimes I find that to be really difficult for myself to find out where I fit in because you know, being a non-stereotypical, you know, fuck people you don't. Boy. Yeah, fuck you, white boy. <laughs> people don't look at me and automatically assume that I can sing. And then you know, with the with the music industry changing the way that it is, with all these, you know, um, for, forgive me for saying this, but. Um, all these talentless people that are that are out there making money and making music that really has no value, no substance. We keep it real on this show. So no yeah. quality. Yeah. 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 Really, yeah. We keep it real. It really has. There's no. There's no. No. There's no substance and there's no quality. There's no. You know, the song that you guys that you guys you know will perform is um, is amazing and it, it it speaks to you know that drive and that passion that people have that set goals for themselves and to reach to reach beyond the stars. You yeah, know? The, the song that we're going to perform is called Fight It, and Chuck actually did the background vocals on that song. So it's amazing. It's, and I was honored. To we do had a great it. time in the studio. We so did. That was good. So what about you? Like, what do you think Go about entertainment? It. Like, what do you what do you fit in? Are you sure you're done? Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you got a lot to say. I do. And but I that's what I meant. Hear. The episode. We'll, I, I, we can save in front of the episode. He was passionate. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah, Snatch the mic back, like, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> I got this one. Um, 
where do I fit in? Yeah, in like the where, you know, industry? reality has changed everything. So, yeah. I mean, what do you think about it, and where where are you fitting into that? Mm. Oh, wait, what, are you, what's your uh, nationality? I'm Puerto Rican. Okay, so Puerto how was the Puerto Rico? How was that fitting <laughs> in? It didn't fit in very well for a while, um, but but you're a gorgeous woman. I have, to, I have to tell Thank you, you. Yeah. you're Thank gorgeous. You. Yeah, Thank a lot you. of people want to know if you're single. Uh oh! Uh, You're not telling. Right there. It's, right there. it's a complicated story. Don't get her in trouble. Um, is this is this the yeah? So uh, you yeah. gotta put a ring on that, it. That, that, that answers the, the question. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's she's single, so don't eat on her like crazy. Well, right. Um, anyhow, where do I fit in? You know, that's that's a very that's a that's a loaded question, um, but. I just, I fit in wherever God puts me. You know what I mean? I have been so blessed. I've worked pretty consistently since I was about 10, 11 years old. And just the way I got into the business was so just, it was divinely ordained and ordered. I mean, every move I made was like, doors were just opening. You know, I was the first Puerto Rican young woman to have her own TV show on a, you know, on a network. Yeah, thank you. And, um, so I guess God created a little lane for me. He created a lane. So that's that's where I fit in, basically. Well, I want to say I really appreciate you both for coming on. Thank and you. Chuck, you're going to stick around. But, you know, you're, you're such a lovely spirit. You have such a lovely spirit. Thank you. Such a lovely personality. You thank are welcome you. back. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you perform, okay? Oh, we'll be right you. back with our financial expert, Mark Kennedy. All right. It is Tanisha Marquisha Jenkins. Hey, yo. Got something to tell you. All right, check this out, right? So the other day, right, Obama's, he was on TV talking about his health care, reformations, reform plan, whatever. I had some questions about, you know, I'm a concerned citizen, right? So I went down to see my social worker, Miss Tish. Hey, Miss Tish. Downtown, right? So I walks in there, and she's looking at me like, oh, goodness, what is Tanisha doing here? <laughs> Whatever. So I'm like, Miss Tish, I got some questions. And she going to look at me like, what? What questions? You know Obama's health care reform? She's like, yeah. Um, does it cover dental? She going to look at me like, why? Why? I said, why? Because I want to get my front done. Platinum, baby. And I'm going to take right here. Look. Tanisha! What? Okay. Sh I shut up! Talking over here! Oh, please. Mm. Anyway, so, Tanisha Marquisha Jenkins is outie. Peace! Mm -hmm. Tanisha.